today we're at Sunset Middle School, home of the Rockets, and today we're here to... Do the Pass! Yay! Well, today we're at Sunset Middle School, and I've got sixth grade student, Monse, with us. How are you today? Good. You ready? Let's go. We're going to take a look at some numbers, and we're going to determine if they are prime or composite. Okay? So a prime number, once again, what can you tell me about prime numbers? You can only go with ones. Only one, and the number itself will go into it. Okay? So if I had the number seven, all right, the factors of seven, numbers that will go into seven, are one and seven, one and the number itself, right? There's nothing else that can go into seven evenly, all right? So what about 10? What can go into 10? One, two, five, and 10. Right, anything else? No, that's it, right? And we always wanna make sure that they match up, right? Because we've got one times 10 and two times five. Five times two, we still have the same numbers, right? So what I'd like you to do is select the number between one and a hundred. Mm -hmm. Twenty. Twenty. All right. Go ahead and write twenty on the board. Now, do you think that is prime or composite? Composite. Why? Because um, more numbers could go into it. More numbers can go into it. More than what? Just one. More than just one. So why don't you go ahead and write down the factors, the numbers that go into twenty for me? Grab this eraser next time we need it there. All right, so you've got a lot of numbers there. So how, okay, so we know that one and the number itself will always go into any number, right? How do you know two went into that so quick? Mm, because 10 times two is 20. 10 times two is 20. Plus it's an even number, you know two will go into it, right? Now what about four? Because you didn't, you. Why not three? Because three is an odd number. Three is an odd number, but five is an odd number too, right? But why doesn't three work then? Because if you multiply four times three, it's not 20. Correct. And three, if we go 20 divided by three, we won't get an even whole number. Okay, so it won't work out to be a, a whole number. So we've got four times five and then five times four, and the two and the 10 match up. So you pick the number, now I will, all right? Uh, let's go with 33. You think that's prime or composite? Mm. Mm. Composite. Composite? That one took a little bit. Why do you think it's composite? Because 11 times 3 is uh, There you go. So why don't you go ahead and write down the factors of 33. Good, and there are no other factors, so you did pretty well on that, knowing that it was three times 11, okay? Can you think of a number that will have more factors, more numbers to go into it than 20? Can you think of any number that might have more, like a longer list than 20 has? Because 20's got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in it. Can you think of anything that has more than six? What numbers are you thinking of right now? Mm, maybe 100. Maybe a hundred. Let's try it. Let's try a hundred. All right, why don't you go ahead and start listing factors for that. There you go. So we've got, so we match them up, right? So we've got one and a hundred, two and fifty, four and twenty-five. So that gives us six. Think about a hundred. Okay, it's an even number, so we know two goes into it. But if a number ends in zero, what else will go into it? Twenty. Maybe. Think about this. Ten. Right? So what else goes into it besides two? Ten. 
10 can go into it too, right? So we can put, put 10, but that's 10 times 10. And what else? There's another number that will go into it because it ends in a zero. Five. Right? So think about it. Five will go into 100? If you count by fives, can you get to 100? How many times is that going to be? 50. No, 20. There you go. So why don't you go ahead, because we've got five, and then the next one is going to be 20. So now how many factors do we have? One, two, three, nine. There you go. So we beat the six. Monse, nice work.